Hi everyone, it's Daniel here from the world of Apple, and this is a three-part tutorial with iMovie and iDVD Basics. The first part of this tutorial will be involving the iMovie interface and importing video. Part 2 instructs you how to edit your video, and in 3, you will learn how to burn to a DVD. Before we start, let me tell you that what we'll be covering today is only the tip of the iceberg for iMovie. This tutorial is a viewer request from YouTuber Lucas of Lithuania. When you open iMovie, the last project you worked on will appear. There are several areas of the main iMovie window that are important as you create your movie. The first is the project window at the top left corner of the main window. This is where clips from your project will be added when you create your movie. To the right is the viewer, where you can watch the footage that you are working on in your video. To the lower left is the event library, in which you will find all of your events. Finally, we have the event viewer, which displays the video footage in the event that you have selected in the library. To import video, first plug in your video camera. Now. Click the video camera on the middle left of the window. The import window will open now, and if you have a digital video camera, you will be able to see all of your clips. If you want to choose which clips to import, click Manual, and then select the clips that you want imported. If you click Import, you will be able to add these videos to an existing event or create a new event. Clicking Import once more will allow you to import all of these videos to your library. Welcome to part 2. Now I will be covering video editing in iMovie. To create a new project, click the Project Library button and then Plus. In the window that opens, you'll be able to add a name for your project, choose an aspect ratio, Widescreen TVs will be 16 by 9, and full screen TVs will be 4 by 3. You can choose a theme and add a transition automatically, but that's not necessary. When you click Create, iMovie will start creating your new project. Now, we can navigate to the event that you have already imported your videos to. To add a clip to the new project, Select the clip that you want by clicking and dragging across the clip for the part that you want in your video. Now, drag this piece of the clip to the project video. Continue to do so with all the clips that you would like in your final video. Now we can add the fun stuff. Titles, audio, pictures, transitions, and more. I'll start by adding some pictures from the event that I have already imported in iPhoto. I'll click the photo button and the photo browser will appear. Select the folder that you have photos that you want and they will appear in the browser. Now all you have to do is simply click and drag the images to the place that you want them in your video. Now let's add some titles. By clicking the titles button, and then dragging a title to wherever you would like it to be in the video. Now you can edit this text and type in whatever you want. Let's add some audio to spruce up our video. Click the music browser button and then you can choose whether you want to display songs that are in your iTunes playlists or audio clips that are royalty free and came with your Mac. Double click a song to play it. If you like the song, you can drag it to wherever you would like it to be in your video. Finally, we can add transitions from the transition browser and drag them in between your clips. 
When you want to preview your project, simply mouse over whichever part of the project you would like to start playing and hit the spacebar. Welcome to part 3. Cool, the video is almost complete. Let's send it off to iDVD and burn a DVD from there. Click Share, then iDVD, and iMovie will automatically send your movie to iDVD. When the iDVD window opens, you can choose the DVD menu style that you would like, fill in your titles, and you can insert a blank DVD into your Mac and then click this burn button here and iDVD will start burning your DVD. Thanks for watching another tutorial by the World of Apple and good luck creating your next blockbuster film.